All right, have you ever noticed that instructors always give you a grading scale in their syllabus, but yet you never know how to find your grade in a class? Well, I'm here to rectify that situation. Um, we're going to find another weighted mean, um, just like we did before. Um, I know this is actually going to be pretty much the same problem we did before, um, you're going to see, but this is such an important concept. Students never know how to find their grades, and I think that it's very important that you do. So let me show you how this works. All right, I have this example, again, from my notes from Chapter 3. Um, John wants to calculate his grade in statistics class with the grading scale listed below. See, There are three exams, each worth 15%, a final exam worth 25%, and homeworks worth 30%. I mean, that's the kind of thing that your instructors always tell you in the syllabus, right? Here's John's grade so far. He received an 81, 77, 65 on the tests, and his homework is 84.6. Okay, part A says, suppose he gets a 78 on the final, what's his grade in the class? So here's what you're going to do. Stat, edit, number one, enter. Okay, this was from the last problem, so let's go up and press clear, enter. Over to the left, up, clear, enter. All right, now we're going to type in our grades. So, for example, he's got an 81, so I'm going to type 81, 77, 65, 84 point, oops, hold on, point 6, enter, and we're going to suppose he has a 78 on the final. Okay, this, if I do this right now, if I go do one variable stats right now, it's going to treat them all like they're the same but they're not, okay? The, the tests were each worth 0 0.15, enter, 0.15, enter, 0.15, enter, okay? For your instructor, for your course, put in whatever you got, okay? The fine, or excuse me, the homework was worth 0 0.30, enter, 0.3, and the final exam was worth 0.25. Enter. Now, you don't have to do these as decimals. You technically could do them as percentages, 15, 15, 15, 30, 25. Whatever you do, just keep it consistent. Okay? All right, so now I've got it all in there. Interesting. I'm not typing this stuff. This grading scale is just a grading scale. Okay? I'm just going to use it as a reference later on. But it's not how your grade gets calculated. Okay? It's how this portion of your grade gets calculated, the 4.35, all that good stuff. Okay, how do we figure out his grade in the class? Well, we need an average. Okay, to get the average, let me press clear, press key history so you can see. You press stat, go to the right to calc, pick number one, one variable, second L1, comma, second L2. Okay, you're telling it, look, L1 was where the grades were, the 81, 77, 65, and so on. L2 is where my weights are. Right, my percentage is 15, 15, 15, 25, and so on. Okay, so I press enter, and I can see that his grade in the class is a 78.33. So he's got a 78.33%, which would be a 2.5 in the class. That's his grade. Okay, now, um, Another thing that students always want to give me is if he hasn't taken the final exam, what's the highest grade he could get in the class or the lowest grade he could get in the class? So if you go to stat edit, okay, where's the final? The final is this 78 business over here. Okay, the highest grade you could get on a final is 100%. You could put 100 in, enter, and then quit. Okay, if you do second, enter, it does the one variable stat L1 comma L2 or you could type that in yourself, whatever, one variable stat, L1, comma, L2, press enter, 83, 83.8. The highest grade he could get in this class is a three point. The lowest grade would be to go put a zero in there, stat, edit, go down, 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 type zero, enter, and then quit, and go get it again. Second, enter, enter, there it is. The lowest grade he could get is a 58, which would be failing. All right, so now you guys know how to find your grade in a class. Very, very, very important to do. Um, as for the bottom one, what is the minimum grade? There's an algebra way to do that, which I don't want to show here in the tutorial, but you could just play around with that grade, right? Keep changing that final exam grade around to all sorts of different things and see what it get, takes to get the grade you want. All right, I'll see you later.